Two years of planning with special maps and workers ready to go, and now because of the virus, big changes to how folks plan to get people to fill out their census forms. The count, of course, is already underway, but obviously don't look for anyone to knock on your door. And that puts the burden directly on each family to make sure you fill out your form and send it in, either online, through the mail, or over the phone. The census numbers and where people are located are the roadmap to figure out where to send hundreds of millions of dollars of federal funding. And joining us now is Victoria Whitehead, who's the vice chair of Complete Count Lubbock, to talk a little bit more about this. Victoria, it's good to see you. I, I've heard this before from folks. Why is Lubbock and Lubbock County a hard place to get an accurate count? Lubbock and Lubbock County have three kind of unique aspects about them that we don't see a ton in Texas. Um, you have a hub city with a lot of rural surroundings. So some of our smaller communities that are around Lubbock um, smaller communities, rural communities are generally hard to count. Then we've got the university systems here in town um, and the university systems, generally speaking, just hard to count. Um, collegiate kids don't always know where they count. Um, and then also uh, minority communities. Minority communities are um, generally hard to count. And so we kind of have that trifecta here in Lubbock County. And I, I think people, I don't know, uh, realize this. Texas Tech LCU students, they count toward Lubbock's total, right? Correct. So you count where you live. Um, and even with the pandemic that's kind of going on right now, um, Lubbock students, Tech, LCU, they all count for Lubbock. Um, they have lived here since the beginning of the year. They've lived here since spring break. Um, so they need to be completing their census here in Lubbock County. The first thing a lot of folks may ask about all this is that what it's what it's worth to me. And I guess if you look at the last census, it might actually be worth more than this upcoming stimulus check even, right? Oh my gosh, yes. Um, so the census dictates where billions of federal dollars go. So we pay into the federal pot every single year. Um, and this is kind of the formula that the federal government uses to show where these funds need to go back into communities. Mm -hmm. um, the last census, for example, it's estimated that it's about $1,500 per person per year. So in a 10 year period, I mean, that's a ton of money, but it's per person. So if we're having areas of the community that are only responding 20, 30%, I mean, 70% of that community fifteen hundred dollars per person per year it's it's just um financially speaking it's it's huge sure and, and there was talk from folks who may have citizenship issues in their family being afraid to fill out a form do those people have any reason to worry here they do not and there is not a citizenship question on the on the u.s census um the census is safe secure and confidential mm -hmm. um, the census is protected by federal law um, responding to the census does not cannot be used against you in any court of law um, but also it's kind of like you're here um, and so your body your person counts into the formula of the resources that we need to support the community and mm -hmm. um, so they should people that are interested and concerned about that should not have any concerns at all um, and they should count their uh, complete their census because they count for our community too yeah and from a political standpoint i know you've done some work on this the numbers have a lot to do with how we end up being represented in the state legislature and in washington here right Yes, um, I've, I've had the fortunate opportunity to work on two of the last redistricting pieces of legislation in Austin and having that hands on experience has really been eye opening for me, particularly someone who lives west of I-35. Mm -hmm. um, there's less than 19 legislators who are considered rural in the state um, house and there's more in Harris County, for example. But what it ends up looking like is you have to have a certain amount of people per district and so you have for example house district 68 with representative springer that stretches from munster to crosbyton i mean so we're gonna if we don't support our populations the the districts are going to generally speaking go towards those population centers a, a lot of us got a form in the mail of course if someone threw that away where can we get another one or how can we get our information to where it needs to go now 
So you should get another one. Um, there's multiple follow-ups that'll be coming in the mail. Um, if you're struggling and just having issues, I want you to know that, and let people to know that they can reach out to us, the Complete Count Committee at completecountlbk.com. We can help direct you to the local census office um, and to local resources where they can help you get that filled out. Outstanding. Victoria Whitehead from Complete Count LBK, good luck. Try, good good luck you. trying to do all this in the pandemic mess. We'll